the meeting October 26, 2021 at 530 to order. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to be here again tonight. We ask that you continue to guide over us, help each and every one of the council members and myself to make the best decisions for the council each and every time we meet and in our daily lives and walk with you, Lord. Continue to guide and keep the community safe and just lead us in your direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
the subfunding is is specifically for COVID relief projects. You can always add those things later, or you know, find look for other funding to do it during the same time as the re remodeling. If funded, but nothing in this application, and I'll verify that with the engineer. But nothing I'm aware of. Miss Walker, is there anything you're aware of that would be? No, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. The last lady who asked the question, will you state your name and address for the record? Sandra Coppage, 3482 Creek Road. Right, Ellen Morris, uh, 5146 Creek Road. Will this in any way, with the way technology is today, put a hindrance upon being able to get this approved? You know, would they would that be a stumbling block when they start to look at it, not having it? But not having Wi-Fi and solar mm -hmm. or something like that? Well, not necessarily Wi-Fi, just, just when you run cables for electricity. You normally would do that, you know, include that in with it. Just just a thought. Good luck. Um, that's something the engineer may be considering, and I really don't know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. It won't it won't cause any penalty on the application itself. Well, I didn't know if it might be a stumbling block, you know, if no. they see that that's not that's included not some way. At this point, it's not designed. It's just the initial trying to get funds. Okay, to, just to get it going. Well, it probably will be designed. <laughs> it'll be if funded. Um, what will happen is once you get funded, the town will go to a con. If and when they get funded, go down to contract, and the state will tell us, and they're kind of going through the process now. If you know to release for the engineer to start the process of designing the okay. project. And, and more than likely, and I can't obviously speak for the engineer, but when they're doing electrical and wiring, more than That's, likely they that mean, is included in there yeah. because they know that if it's used as a even a shelter in place, then right. you're going to need. Exactly. You know, you're going to need that communication to well, let people know what's going on. And if not anything, it'll probably have at least a con do it there. You can run the Yeah. Water. Okay. <clears throat> and that was my main question, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. What are you here for? Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Al 40 is 2740 Traverse Drive. A couple of questions, and I apologize. I'm going to bundle them up for you. Does this remain a uh, city owned facility? Yeah, it must. Okay. Uh, how far along in the application process are you? Because your deadline's Monday. We're close. This is the last step is having the public hearing and get some forms on it. You think you're going to get it in on time? He always does. Yeah, I don't <laughs> He's good. We, we've made tight timelines before, but I don't want to say yes and jinx myself. <laughs> but we're going to do everything in our power to get it in on time. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Does anyone else have anything? I don't want to get too excited, but I'm getting so excited. Right. <laughs> close the public hearing. So now we'll close the public hearing, open back up the special meeting, and could I have a motion to approve resolution 22-176, apply for CDBG dash CD funds. I make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. You as well. Number three. We have a motion to upgrade street maintenance position from temporary to permanent. I'll make a motion to upgrade the Second. Discussion? I just have one thing. You really, 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 <laughs> really, really built really, really. a long term work for the city yes, like five years you see yourself still working for the city i, I do i'm a long-term person i've worked my last job for 30 years <laughs> i know listen i'm not even trying to be funny but <laughs> we're and i know you don't want really to stand up and say no nah, really i just want the insurance and then i'm gonna quit and go. <laughs> but i mean i want you to look me in the eyes and say i really do plan on being around oh, yes ma'am i appreciate that Thank you. Thank you very much. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Going nowhere. <laughs> Motion carried. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome thank you, home. Thank you very much. No, we thank you. Number four, do I have a motion to purchase $3,470 for a flow meter for WWTP, the DEP requirement? I make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Uh, 
Opposed? Yes, sir. Motion carried. Number five, do I have a motion to refund $721.65 to Linda Wilson due to a closed account that was set up incorrectly? Make motion approved. Second. Second. Discussion? How did this happen? I, I can honestly tell you that we're not 100% sure if it was the deputy clerk or if it was the person who read the meters that gave the wrong information to the deputy clerk. But I don't understand how this... What do you mean? What do you mean? Why is it 2019? What? Joey's looking at me. Well, here's Wait the a thing, though. We've been going back and forth with this. Sending the guys out to check the meter and everything. Nobody went back prior on the system until now. We did not have a picture of the meter until recently. But I'm saying if I mean, it's on I, the, pa the meter readings are on the paperwork. Sometimes there are it. the zeros, sometimes the zeros aren't put, put on. We are going back, we are checking everything. And I, when I tell you everything, every single meter has been checked by two people. And I don't understand why this account. I can't explain it. I All I know is. I mean, it was not the current deputy clerk, and it was not just the clerk that did it. I don't think you're saying that. I'm just saying why is it found by now? We're going to know who did it. I mean, I cannot give you it, the account was set up in answer. August of 2019. That's all. That's well. You know what? Y'all should have been checking it. Okay, we don't have to check, check, check it. it unless you don't ever check the accounts. Come on. We don't have a picture. We don't know what it's unless we go to the meter ourselves and look. Unless we going around when she was going round and round, y'all didn't do anything to check it. Well, she was coming up. We were calling them and had them reread the meter, Gwen, and that's all we could well, do, ma'am. Well, listen. Well, how did you catch it now? Come because on. we had because a picture, of the, picture meter. of the meter. We had a picture okay, of the meter. Okay, hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, we can be a little bit more respectful. Yeah, yeah I'll I'm sorry. Uh, I'm speaking to everybody and reminding myself as well. On the paperwork, mm -hmm. I don't see Jason. Hey, zero Jason, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't see Hi. either one of y'all when y'all are reading the meters. I know generally it's written down on the list with the address. The zeros are included on what's on the meter. Mm -hmm. Is that still the way that it's done? Yeah, Sometimes, every, yes. Every paperwork Sometimes. ever done is that way. Also, mm -hmm. whenever we're keying in the meter reads, we do not see how many zeros are on the account. No, no, That's I understand a that. Screen. I understand that. And I also know from experience that those systems are set up in a way that the, the millage and the zeros and everything are entered as where they're supposed to be when it's set up. Yes, that's, that's correct. And, and y'all are led Which into was that. before either one of us. No, 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 I understand that. But it, <coughs> my point is, is that this particular account we've been dealing with for months now mm -hmm. that's been coming in and we, uh, we've done everything as far as outside, checking the outside stuff. But just until a picture was brought in the other day, that's how we found out about the rest of it. Yes, so she saw the zero to go into the system itself, and there was no alerts on the system. No, ma'am. So neither one of y'all thought, "Hey, let me go go back and check this." Let thing. me go have the guys take a picture. No. No, no, and I'm not saying let the guys take a picture. The picture is the same as it's what's written. On not the always, paper. not always, ma'am. I will say that for sure. Not always. Okay, so until they decide to bring you a picture, you didn't decide to do it. Then is what you're telling me. No. We didn't have any reason to look, look there. there. But this woman is coming up here and complaining. I mean, that should have sent her. It's hard to explain. I'm going to try to explain it in layman's term. There's actually now I found out today there's four different kinds of meters out there. One, one meter we have is digital and has no zeros. It's uh, the OCs. There's a digital, one digital one in the whole system. There's one with a 10 multiplier. There's some with a hundred multipliers, and there's actually one with a thousand multipliers. I understand that completely. I'll okay. When the account, when you say you move, your account is still at that address. So when the system that we have now, all we do is add a name to it. It, it opens. The account stays open, other than the old one goes to a zero zero cap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it stays. In, oh, oh, when somebody moves in, it goes. There's a new account comes up with the same information that was the same meter reader, the last meter read. And the same amount of multipliers, it goes, you just add the name, their name and their personal information. So what happened is Tracy, we had a with um the picture that we ended up with of the meter. Tracy happened to have it open while she had that screen open. She had looked at the picture in that particular screen, which is not where we enter the meter reads. The meter reads on a whole different thing. I understand that. Okay. She happened to notice it because she had the picture right there in front of her and 
the screen at the same time, and she noticed two zeros one zero. So, in all that explanation, let me say this: the system that that was before this one, mm -hmm. those stationary zeros when they're put in, and the ones that are manually entered by you or the clerk, whichever. We person, don't enter any when we do the meter. We don't reading. enter any meter readings at all. No, not the zeros. Okay, what I'm telling you is, they're stationary in the system. Right. When it's set up. When it's set and up. And when they bring you in the paperwork and you've got a number and you type it in, if it's way off, there's a screen that's supposed to pop up in the It alert. says, it says um, over two times the amount. It's all it says. Considering it was set up in August 2019 and closed, I want to say July of 2020. And then opened back and up again. And then reopened back up this year. No, we didn't have a reason to go and look and say, hey, maybe it was set up incorrectly. So it's not all this time there's stuff going on with the meter readings and all that. You've not had any alert pop up when you put in that reading. No. Because it was always high in the old system. See, it was high before. So it didn't well, we're, we're, catch that it was. And also, the meter reads aren't always right. We had a meter reads done Friday that had, we had to send a person back to send pictures because. They, the zeros were wrong with what was in the system and we had to go so we had to verify we had to I verify I really yeah do. everybody makes mistakes but we had yes. no reason to look at the multiplier well, as you said mm -hmm. now with that said this has been going on since 2019 y'all saying the previous clerk or deputy clerk well i'm saying what well, the council's saying for did y'all learn anything? Yes, the we thing did. Is, let me tell you. <laughs> the thing is, we almost locked this lady up. This lady blocked me in my own driveway. Right. And the thing is, you're talking about uh, residents of the city of Vernon, and we talk about $7,800 or $2,000. I complain when mine's $40 over, but we know we got a problem. There's no telling how many times we sit our employees out there. But I don't do the paperwork or read the meters and, and nothing like that. I'm a council member. But the thing is, I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson because this lady stayed on me, stayed on me, stayed on me. Yeah. Almost worse than Larry <laughs> With that, But I'm just telling you. Right. Don't saying, blame it on a previous clerk. I'm not blaming clerk. a previous clerk. I'm just saying, I'm saying just the, tell I didn't, the council y'all learned something. Yeah, we learned lesson. from it. I and also, we're asked why we didn't catch it sooner. We have to blame somebody. It was not our but fault. From now on, this is not. But I'm saying you cannot blame uh, us. It is not our fault. It didn't it's not that way. She didn't complain when her old account was she open. Never she never complained then. And she was paying the bills. Listen, y'all been arguing with this lady, and this lady has called. But this is my. It, it, all I want to say. Be rude to her. All the rude to her. Right. It won't happen. Believe me, move on to everyone. He's been in my house. He's actually been in my house. Okay, I want to say there are also customers that weren't paying enough, and now they're just fixed to pay more. So they're going to be mad next month when they get their bill because they didn't have enough zeros. So just how be prepared. Many, maybe a picture needs to be taken when there's a problem, and that would have been. Yeah, that way we can compare. For now on, we we'll get pictures with it. That's what we've been doing. But how many total? How many total? What, three? Maybe three that were wrong? Three that were wrong the opposite way that weren't paying enough. So how long has Linda's account been open? Since August 2019. Two years. Two years. But the but the one that when I went in and asked him to figure it out, I only thought it was May because that's when she had started coming up <laughs> here. She, she had just her account. Account. So Tracy sent me a message on t one day, a couple Thursday, Thursday, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday I, don't Tuesday, I don't know. And said, "Hey, actually, Linda Wilson's original account was open in August of 2019." I said, "Well, then you need to go back and look all the way to August of 2019 and and see if there was a discrepancy." Um, and then it turned out the next day or two days later, Miss Wilson called her and said, "Hey, I want to go all the way back because at that point I didn't even realize it was past May, or we could have done one check, the the whole deal, but." Well, her, well, dad, many, her dad was living there all this time. He yeah, like, it was only on the new system that it was messed up. That, that was August was living at house. Her dad was living at the house and there's a trail in the back that was getting water. Debbie, Deborah. So I don't understand how come they wasn't charged. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't get it. I don't. Because that was all on the old system. It was still set up incorrectly. Yeah, but it was when the Banyan system was put in. 
<laughs> from the old system. Everything transfers from the old system. The person that keyed it in into the new system. And it wasn't me. That's why I wasn't here then. That's all I know. Well, things should have been checked. I think we wouldn't notice. Is, is, I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson. We learned a valuable lesson. We all made lesson. mistakes, and I'm glad we fixed, we we fixed it now. We finally figured it out. Yeah. Because uh, it was getting worse. We fixed it now. That's right. How many accounts are messed up now? Right now, um, we're going to have, I think, three that are going to be the other way. Right. I haven't done any. Oh, we got one more. Yeah, the, the one that's uh, digital. Yeah. No, the digital not. one has... Hmm. Okay, wait. The three that you found the other way, they were found just now. Yes. So have y'all notified yeah. them so yes. that they would be prepared not yet, for this? We just got the meter reads in today. Yeah. Okay, so they need to be notified right because they're, they're going to be like, what in the world's going on? Well, is that their fault? No, it's yeah, not their fault, yeah, but they really need to be prepared. To, that to it's going to be higher in the future. All right, there you are. And it doesn't need to be applied on one of you. Is that right? <laughs> It's just, it adds a one zero. So, well, most of them were riding right at the minimum anyway. So it's probably going to up it probably to maybe $20, $30, maybe more. But it's not going to be retroactive. They're not going to No, they're not going to pay for the pack. Okay. It's, it's well, moving, moving forward. It's just point moving forward. Moving forward. I've explained it to them what's going on. Right. And um, yeah, I'm just um, to prepare. speaking for myself. Right. I just prepare. Now, I just, I'm like, Chad, if it's two or $300, I had print out a the one that the, the the one that's gonna was the digital that doesn't have any. I printed out a paperwork we thought we fixed this a couple months ago. Um, it tells supposed to tell me what the multiplier is supposed to be, and actually theirs is only gonna be two months because of the fact that it said to change the multiplier and because it, it had no zero, but the system couldn't understand why it had no zero, so it wanted to add one. And that's the issue, so it's gonna be a big adjustment. That but we have learned, believe me, I'm fine tooth combing everything on that meter read sheet. I bugged Chad to death today. I, I'm fine toothing it. I mean, I've, I've got Chad, a meter I can't be fine. Chad, we appreciate you today, buddy. <laughs> Every day. Every day, but I'm just saying. I appreciate what y'all do. We all make mistakes. Even they've made mistakes. Mistakes read the meters. You know, it ain't hard to make mistakes. We all humans do that. But, you know, just learn from your mistakes and, you know, I'll try to get it right. And I'm glad we got this situation. It's safe. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So, <clears throat> that being said, all in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Motion carried. I'm signing the check. Thank you. And I did tell her it would be available either after the meeting or in the morning. And I told her we call her and let her know. Right. Number six, and I'm going to keep this as short and as sweet as I can. We've had a lot going on over the last few months. People in and out, sicknesses, deaths. Um, there are a couple of things that I need to notify council about that I have already notified the mayor and the city attorney about. And I was told that I had to do it in a meeting, which I would much prefer um, being able to just meet. Like it used to be when there's an issue with an employee or something, the mayor, or president, council, or whoever be able to speak with them. Um, but we've been told time and time again that that is not the way it works when a um, head of the department is involved. It has to be spoken about in the meeting. So with that being said, I'll just say this because I've been asked about it. Um, back at the end of July, the city clerk um, requested three different times on three different occasions that I had somebody else to start doing the invitation. The reason I'm bringing that up is because I've been asked because it looked seemingly as though I was maybe punishing or normally because I always ask Tracy to do it because that's the way it's been done for as far back as I remember. But it was brought to my attention that with things going on in the past that it looked kind of strange. So I just want to let everybody know that the reason I started asking someone else is because she actually requested that. Um, the other thing that has been reported to me and I let the attorney know about it 
as soon as I found out about it, um, and we discussed it a little bit. Um, a while back when I asked at one of our meetings, like I said, we've had a lot going on. Um, you all remember the meeting when um, I asked that Public Works had their own credit card. I always thought that they had, like the other departments. But y'all remember that, and, mm -hmm. and we ended up approving that to them. The reason that I asked that, and the reason I found out that they didn't have it was because an employee told that there was an incident. Well, I'll say an incident. Here's what I was told. Um, the marshals had an issue where a trencher was needed. The credit card was asked for by the clerk to rent a trencher because the backhoe was down and they were gonna have to wait on parts. And the report that I was told was that Tracy said no. Uh, in fact, uh, her husband and his equipment was available that they could use him or wait on the parts. And they were denied the credit card. Mm -hmm. And I reported this to the attorney and what she said was that that was possibly um, because of her public position, you know, it would depend on if that person wanted to um, do an affidavit, which I was told that that person would do an affidavit. Um, so I needed to let you all know about that. Like I say, the attorney's known about it since it was first told to me. But that was why I requested, was because the outside employees were denied the credit card by the city clerk. When was this? This was when they had to do the marshal um, dig at, there, there was an issue at the marshals and it ended up being over the weekend and they needed a trencher and the backhoe was down. I've got the notes on it at home. I don't have the dates here with me, but it was back on the Mar Marshall project and it was when it was reported to me was when I asked and said, I did not know that they did not have their own card. Will y'all please do that? And that's when I said I was pushing my report back to a later time. In between the time we had, um, the clerk was out, different people were out, so I just needed to, like I say, I reported it to the attorney like I was supposed to, but I'm also obligated to let the council know when something like that is reported to me. And from what she stated to me, that, that could possibly be illegal given that that's the public position that she holds. Now, the attorney's not here, so I'm just telling you, you know, the discussion that we had. Basically, I just wanted to report it because it was reported to me. Now they have their own credit card, so they, they don't have those issues. But, and I, I, I'm not doing this to, I certainly do not want there to be any more issues between outside and inside employees. Um, I'm simply putting this to cancel because I'm obligated to. I was just waiting to see if anybody else had anything to say. I'm waiting to see what you got to say. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Jason, um, you normally run the backhoe, so do you, do you remember this? I don't remember this whole thing. This wasn't me the reporter. This. And Jason was the only one that I dealt with on this issue. I don't know how it went down. Can you just tell us what you remember? I, I know that I'm putting you on the spot, but it needs to be. It wasn't a big deal to me. <laughs> I mean, if I remember right, I think when the back hoe went down, it was a weekend or something, or it was Friday. We're, that, let's let's just do it this way, plain and simple, because this is this is misery on yeah. all of us. Were you told to use Danny Walker and his equipment or wait on the parts and not give him the credit no, card? No, it wasn't use his equipment if I needed his equipment. He was available. It was if available, it was yeah. It wasn't like I was forced to, no. And I would like to go on record and say that is an absolute lie. I have never denied to give anyone a credit card, ever. Well, we, well, I'm just it. giving you the information, and so I'm, I'm, I'm not lying about anything. I'm not. I have never, ever, I have only dealt with Jason on that issue. 
And I told him, because we were talking about, because he was talking about renting. He didn't even ask me for the credit card. He we, just asked about we renting. We rent the car, but it was over 500 so I couldn't get it. It wasn't a trencher that was like 150 or less no, that you I needed? Mean, it wasn't that. It was, it was more it was more expensive. But I can't remember. That's been so far back, though. So it would need councils, been about two months. if it was $800, $500, yeah. it would need councils approval yeah, yeah. to pay. And, uh, the only thing I remember about the, the thing with her was is, is it wasn't that we had to use Danny's. That was never said. It was if we needed if he had it. Okay, well, that's been so far you. back, though. I'm telling y'all what yeah, was important to me, and I'm obligated to do this stuff. Do you never okay. even asked for I the credit card? I can't remember that far Because we were talking about calling into Middlebrooks to rent it. Yeah, I know I called around and Middlebrooks had one for 150 but they didn't have one stop that day. So the only way I could have got one was to go to Panhandle or United Rentals down there. But I, that's been that's been a while back. But it was over 500 Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. It had, yeah. And I had... Yeah. yeah. Never, ever, ever would I deny somebody a credit card. All I'm saying I got to say about it is it's been at least two months ago. To me, as a council member, I wish it had been brought up then that. if we'd had had a special meeting. What was it, it is, it's, 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 like it's nothing yeah. against our, it, any of our employees. I'm not picking Tracy out or picking I'm not Chad out. About no, I report to the attorney. But when you do, a, a, when you do something like that, and I'm not saying if it was said that way or it was a misunderstanding the way it was worded, I don't know. But the thing is, that's two months ago, you know, and it's went on two months. And the thing is, if she did say that or didn't say that, she's got away with it for two months. And now we at this point, we have a special meeting for anything else. We've been up here and been up here. As a council member, I'm speaking on my behalf. That's it. I wish I'd have known two months ago when it, this happened. Me too. Uh, I'm not picking on nobody, Chad and uh, or Jason. Just like Jason <coughs> said, he don't remember exactly what was said two months ago. He would, you know, if we'd have come called a special. He, now I'm not saying nothing, to Becky, but it was brought to your attention, and I, this is the first I've heard about it. You know, it makes me mad when we got an employee or somebody <coughs> picking on one of our employees or. or a situation that's handled. This is a serious situation. You come to the council and ask, and they should have a credit card. All our departments should have one for that reason. And I'm glad to do now, but we should have took care of it two months ago. And I'm, not, I'm glad it's out in the open now. Uh, it's another learning process, I guess you can call it. But uh, I hope Tracy didn't say that toward you know any of our employees or anybody even though because her husband's in that line of work but if she donated the service is a totally different assumption or the person took it the wrong way you know and uh on my behalf for tracy and i'll speak for her i don't think she would put the city in a jeopardy like that i don't think she would but you know we all human we all make mistakes and sometimes it costs us all of us you know as council members and employees and uh but with that said, I just wish as a council member it had been brought, you know, to our attention before two months or whenever it was. You know, then we could have handled it then. Now it's out in the public, uh, and I'm glad it is. But Well, and you know, I, I was told that it had to be. So. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Becky, I, yeah, no. I have to call the special meetings, and I, I remember now I've been trying to think of, but I remember about it, but I think at the time it was advised not to call a special meeting on it because there was a lot of tensions um, going on and so I did not so I'll, I have to take responsibility for there being no special meeting call on it. Well and, and, and I'll say and it's my responsibility as well but I was also um, basically told that we're aware of it I'm aware of it we need to um, let things along. I appreciate it. We already received, you know, the letters that we've already received, so that was another reason. But as I'm obligated and it's been on my heart, it, it was reported. 
I told who I needed to tell at the time, but I'm obligated to let council know I'm not saying anything other than what was reported to me. So. <coughs> Does anybody else have anything that they want to say on any of this? Does Danny routinely donate? I mean, is he willing to donate? He absolutely has. Well, yeah, that would be my question. Yeah. Absolutely. He donated so about that's not day out of the ordinary then. During yeah. Hurricane Michael. Yeah. That is, it's nothing out of the ordinary for me to offer his services if Jason needs it. But I never denied anyone the debit card, card credit card in, and I really, I want that on record because that is just a flat out lie. And I don't appreciate it. I think everyone up here knows me better than that. And that is, that's hurtful that somebody would say that about me. I think that we're dealing with miscommunication and he said she said and exactly. he said she said gets turned into the, they definitely said this or they definitely said that and in my opinion because I'm supposed to be kind of the middle person mm -hmm. if anybody has an issue maybe they could bring it to me and let me um, yeah. say go to that person and we go together and clear the air like um, so that we don't have a he said she said and if they both think they're right then they can, we can talk about that together if the council doesn't have a no, an issue that's, with that that's, I, I certainly don't that's been the whole thing is it, it, only the attorney advised, but we were advised yeah, that anything is supposed to come anything up here, especially where department all, heads are concerned is supposed to be we have to bring it out at a meeting we can't even it's not even like it used to be when Joey would show up in the front office and write an employee uh, that we can't do that anymore. And to even ask how that's done, we're accused of, you know, being against somebody. So I, that's why I just needed to put it out there so it would be off my conscience. And I, I just reported what I was told. Well, once again, I, I only dealt with Jason on that issue, period. No did one. Jason, Jason must be the one who said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> he didn't say it. I mean, I mean, if I that's just the way. I, I mean, that's the way. I just were, were heard what you just said that you dealt with Jason, now, well, and then he's Jason, the only person that I dealt with, would have that. to be the one that said it. Come on. Man. No. <laughs> so if anyone else said that, then the whole thing was fabricated. While we're on the council, the president's report, I would like to add. Um, we were all kind of awestruck. Am I allowed to do that since on a special meeting? We were all kind of awestruck when we got the budget. Yes. Um, I have spoken with the accountant and he has told me that Banyan made a really lot of mistakes and they're the ones that set it up. Um, so I want that to be clarified that the system we are using Either the people that set up the system don't have any idea what they're doing, or the system's crap. One or the other. Oh, that's a burning <coughs> word. <laughs> One or the other. But either way, uh, the the accountant has contacted them directly. He has talked to a supervisor. They have gone over several aspects of this system. I'm not going to say they're not going to find more stuff down the road. But right now, we're on at least know where we're at and what we've got to work towards. So we know we got to work towards coming up with seventy thousand more dollars for the next budget because we were thrown off from information from before. But I, I mean, I hung up the phone with the accountant just shortly before this meeting. So I did want to throw that out there and let all that <clears throat> just kind of. Settle. settle and clear the air as far as the budget goes because I did talk to him. I called him and wanted to clarify everything so that we would know exactly how all that was working. So he did verify. We talked for a while. So does does that um, the system that we use, do they have some kind of insurance to back it up? Because mm -hmm. now the city's in, in, in 
$70,000 in debt. Well, not only that, but <coughs> a little bit more because all those checks that we're having to sign right now are reimbursements to all the employees. But, uh, but, the, IRS, but the IRS is actually uh, going to reimburse Lee, Lee sent in, Lee did all the 941 adjustments, 940 and 941 adjustments this afternoon, sent it to the IRS. They're going to send us back double that amount because, see, you know, we have to match. Yeah. You have to match. So because of that, we're going to get double that back. So it, it, it was actually a benefit for the city. So it's not going to affect our budget. Basically. No, we're going to have a little bit extra. Yes. Okay. But but it actually hurt the employees because they've been having too much taken out for ever since the, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check. So. Yes. Yeah, so and I don't know how much a new system costs, but he. He was really shocked because he said that he sat and just tried to figure out, you know, why is this not coming up? Because Tracy kept bringing it to his attention and he could not. And finally, when he got them on the phone, they were, oh, no, it's fine. And he said, no. And he, till he got to a supervisor that went, oh, 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 no. Well, and not, not only that, that was my issue when we were back, when we were discussing the issue with the, the meter earlier. Is because the system that they upgraded from was RBS Mosaic, correct? Yes. That's the same system I work on. Yes. And so I know that when you enter in a meter reading, there's an alert. And so my issue is, if we're having this kind of trouble with the new system, is it any better than the old? One? I can tell you that with this system, whenever we can the meter reads, it doesn't even take into account the stationary zeros when it's figuring whether it's high or low. So and I would have changed it, it wouldn't show. And for Linda Wilson's, the reason it wouldn't alert is because it was set up wrong to start with, so it never knew it was yeah. incorrect. Yeah. So it's not going to send you an alert because it thinks that's what it's supposed to be. So what we've done now, we went to every one, make sure every zero is right. So, so it, it's a lot more work on them, it's a lot more work on us for this time, but it'll be perfect. In well, the we read every, every one that have water in it, we can't read, we pumped out. Well, they pumped out. But. Even Joey's. Yeah. <coughs> Speaking of water, Jason. Yeah, we know. I already took care of it. No, I went out and did it. It's the same thing. What are you talking about? At her house? No, shallow. I uh, know. I got little kids going. Because I got her house fixed. Her house is fixed? Yeah. And her driveway was already fixed. Yeah. But shallow is fixed yeah. about five minutes a day. Yeah, it's I know. Fixed. All right. But I got her, hers was, is done. That's it. We're done. So that's all I have. We can have a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Well, excuse me. Okay. I'd like, we would, we would like to ask the council a favor. Yes. It's a special meeting. Does it have to be voted on? Because it's no. a special no, meeting. No, we're we just not want to put, to... we just want to put it out there. <laughs> no? Yeah, we can, yeah, just propose this to you. And if you have to. Do this at a regular time. We understand that. First of all, we do respect the um, the job of managing the city. We understand that's a challenge. So you got our <laughs> prayers and our support. But uh, we uh, at the Great Assembly, Pastor Great Assembly, and we've seen the need of uh, here in the city of a food bank. It's something that we've talked about as a, a church congregation for a period of time. And um, really, we don't have room at our church. But more than that, we we really really wanted an offsite for a couple of reasons. One, it'd be a, maybe more accessible to people. And second of all, uh, we realize that a food bank requires donations and obviously we'd be willing to help out, but it, perhaps another entity or another church or another individuals or who's, whoever would like to contribute, if it was at an offsite, for instance, here at the city hall, then it would be a community thing because that's what we want to do is help the community. We don't want to promote ourselves, just have a place where people can come for a food bank and if there was room available here at, at the uh at the here at the city uh hall uh we'd like to um use a room for a food bank that'd be accessible to the people here at, at vernon maybe start off small one day a week a few hours one day a week and and feel it out see if it grows see the demand and go and and just go go with that but again uh, the purpose is uh to help the people and Second of all, not promote ourselves, but a place where other churches or other groups could would be willing to um, donate to if they if they desire. And again, this is an accessible place. This is where the business of the town takes place, and so 
Uh, people wouldn't feel like they'd come to our church that we have strings attached or going to give them a, um, uh, you know, a Bible beat. Yeah, we don't know why they're going to hit with a Bible or whatever, but I just, um, we just think it would serve the community. So uh, we want to propose that if there was a room available. Uh, we would like to, uh, to start on that. It takes probably some time to get it going, and it's something that we could, uh, I'm not saying, again, we're not, we don't have the manpower to man it every day, but uh, again, this is the city where people are in and out, and news travels through here, where we could set it up a day, a, week, a few hours a day a week, and just see what you happens. You need a pretty big space, huh? Probably not to start with. Not, just one room. Start, okay. One room, yeah. 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 And see. Right across yeah. the hall from me, right there at the entrance. Yeah. That that room is available. Yes, because the floor sticks. And the floor sticks now. <laughs> That's a pretty big room. Well, That's it. I have to I'm happy that you joined it. Yeah, I appreciate it. I ain't got a problem. I, just, I didn't know if we had a place. On the agenda, I don't but food. Just to work out the details, we're not allowed to vote on anything on a special meeting, not on the agenda, but obviously the city would and I'm love to do that. We're, are we going to discuss it more on um, Monday? Well, yeah, we'll just have to do it officially Monday. And That'll then be vote fine. on yeah, the 15th. We, we won't make a move before then anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll hold food in my house if you want me to. We have storage opportunities. Yeah, got three children. Yeah, teenagers, yeah. Yeah, they're going to have to be the way right? Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 yeah.